Hello everyone, my name is Gabriel. And I'm Andy. And we are so excited to be here with you today. Are you ready to focus? I hope you are because all month long we have been talking about how we can focus on what God is doing in this world. It sure has been a journey and we have a great story for you this week. But first, let's talk about what the word faith means. Faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. That can be really hard sometimes. But we have been reviewing a memory verse all month long, Hebrews 11, 1, Nerve, which encourages us to have faith. What we're gonna do, I need you on your feet right now. I'm gonna start and go through the motions and I want you to repeat after me with Andy. All right, so let's start on the count of three. One, two, three. Faith. Faith is being sure. Is being sure. And what we hope for. What we hope for. Is being sure. Being sure. Of what we do not see. Of what we do not see. Hebrews 11, one nerve. Hebrews 11, one nerve. Awesome job, that was so good. We're gonna go through that one more time, but we're gonna do it all together. Sounds good. All right, let's do it on the count of three. One, two, three. Faith, Faith is, is being, being sure. sure and what, what we hope for. It is being sure of what, what we do not see. Hebrews 11, one nerve. Awesome job, you did so great. Andy, thank you so much for helping me. Right now, we are going to invite Cody to come on up on stage and lead us in worship. So I need you on your feet right now. And let's get ready to worship our God. Welcome 56ers, let's sing this out together. I close my eyes and colors fly There's no hiding from your grace I can't deny your heart from mine And it's unrelenting chase And I was on the edge of deception Caught up in my own hesitation Until your love took over me So I
never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. And even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, no. Cause even when I don't see it, you're working. And even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop. pray with me. God, we are just thankful. We're grateful that we get to sing. We get to worship together today. God, though that we're online, we still get to connect with one another through conversations with our parents, our family members, God, our pastors here and staff. God, may we just be open to hear from you today. God, we love you. Praise in Jesus' name. Amen. I cannot believe that it is already the end of June but we still have so much summer left. And the good news is, is that we're still gonna be meeting right here. Now we know this summer has been a little bit strange, but we've been watching you guys and we are so proud of how you've been handling it. Here's one thing I want you to think about. So you have a favorite sports team, but then you start talking to someone who's a fan of your rival team. So let's say you're a Colts fan and then you start talking to a Patriots fan who starts talking about how much better their team is and how much better they are than the Colts. You're gonna wanna defend your team and tell them the Colts are so much better. In the end, as much as we have fan rivalries, they don't really end friendships. And that makes me wonder, how do we deal with differences with other people? I mean, those things may not break a relationship, but you know, we do have differences with other people. Um, how do we deal with things with, for example, a school project with our friends, if we want to do things a little bit different than they do? Or when you're on a sports team and you think that you should be the starter and your coach maybe doesn't think the same way that you do, or your bedtime, for example. Mom and dad think it should be a little bit earlier than maybe what you think it should be. And differences are something that we all deal with, but we need to have wisdom. And where do we go for wisdom? We look into the Bible. So let's go check out the so-and-so show and see what they have to say about it. Hello, kids. It's time for another rousing game of Where's Brando? See if you can help me find him. Oh, ha ha! Is Brando underneath this chicken? No, he is not! Is Brando next to this table tennis court? No, he is not! Is Brando underneath this desk? No, he is not! Is Brando hiding underneath this robot helmet? Mm. No! No, he, he is not! Where is Brando? Seriously, where's Brando? Yes. Hmm. Oh! 
coconuts. Am I right? I'm Brandon. Uh, and I'm John, and welcome to the So-and-So Show. Popsicles. Am I right? Brandon, Brandon what are you doing? Where did, where did you get that popsicle? Oh, Longbeard Carl left it in the studio a couple weeks ago. What are you doing now? Just enjoying the summertime, my friend. Yeah, but you don't need sunscreen inside. I know, but don't you just love the smell of it? It's like the smell of summer. Uh, see? Ugh. Ugh. Does it's, that smell like summer? No, it smells like my Aunt Agatha's beach house. Oh, what's the difference? Hey! What's, what's the, the difference? difference? What's the difference? So, in this game, we're going to see two photographs that look the same, but really aren't. Yep, and whoever finds what's different first wins. Oh, 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 oh I'm so going to win. I wouldn't be too sure. Uh -huh. Let's go. All right. Ah, uh, summer. That's what my arm smells like. Mm -hmm. We look like we're having a good time, John. Yeah, but these photos look exactly the same. I can't see anything that looks... Uh, uh, no. Wait. Got it. On the left picture... There's a sun in the sky, and there are people playing in the water. And on the right picture, it has no sun, and there are no people in the water. Oh! Wow, good observation. Yeah, yeah. Okay, next photo. Cool, now we're at the pool. I could sure use a dip right now. What about you, John? No time. Focused on the game. Sure. Hey, but don't forget to have fun. It's only a game. Oh, in the first photo, my face is sometimes sad, sometimes angry. In the second photo, my expression is more perplexed and pensive. Oh! Wow. That's a very subtle difference. Yeah, there's nothing subtle about it. Next. Uh, looks like a good day for a picnic. <laughs> Concentrating. 13, 14, 15. What are you counting? The blades of grass in each picture. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's going to take you all day. Can't we just look for Got it! In the right photo, I am smiling slightly wider than in the left photo. What? No, no, zoom in to a close up. See? In this one, I'm like, and in this one, I'm like, like that. they're different. Or, there are clouds in the photo on the left, but no clouds on the right. Ha! Oh, man. And the winner is John. <laughs> oh, yes, best two. Why? That was best two out of three, buddy. So why'd we even do the third photo? You'd already won. I know. I just I love winning. <laughs> it's Bible story time with Kellen. Bible stories are so fun. I get to tell them to everyone. Hey, 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 hey. Hey guys, um, what's up? Hey Kellen! Yeah, sounded good, Kellen. Thanks. Hey, what's the story about? Today's story is about the time when Peter, one of Jesus' disciples, met Cornelius, a commander in the Roman army. And here to help me tell the story are the so-and-so show players! <laughs> I am so and so excited. Can we play the game again? This story happened sometime after Jesus had died and come back to life, which, by the way, is still an amazing thing to think about. It was so amazing that many people believed in Jesus just because of what they heard about him. But here's something you may not have known. Many Jesus followers at the time thought you had to be Jewish before you could follow Jesus. In fact, there were laws that said Jewish people and non-Jewish people, or Gentiles, couldn't even hang out together. So our story begins in the home of a Gentile, the Roman commander Cornelius, about three o'clock in the afternoon. I wonder what time it is. I'm guessing three o'clock in the afternoon, huh? Hey, that's right. Cornelius. Whoa, what is it, Lord? 
Your prayers and gifts to poor people are like offerings to God, and he has remembered you. <sighs> Send men to Joppa and have them bring back a man called Peter. Okay. <laughs> so Cornelius sent three men to Joppa to find Peter. Around noon the next day, Peter was on the roof praying when he got really, really hungry. Lord, you are faithful. I pray that you... Whoa, I'm hungry. I wonder if lunch is ready yet. Whoa, I'm hungrier than I thought I was. Peter had a vision. He saw something like a sheet being let down from heaven. Uh, where are we? I think we're on this guy's roof. Hey, who is that guy? In his vision, Peter saw animals of all kinds in the sheet. They probably weren't talking animals, but they were the kind of animals that would have been against the law for Peter to eat. As Peter watched, he heard a voice. Get up, Peter. Kill and eat. What did that voice say? Kill and eat. Oh. Wait, us? No, Lord, I won't do it. I I've never eaten anything that isn't pure and clean. Do not say anything is not pure that God has made clean. Whose side are you on here, vision voice? The vision was repeated three times. Oh. 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 Oh, I'm dizzy and confused. Are you gonna eat us or not? Then the sheet was immediately taken back up to heaven. Hang on. No! What could this vision mean? At that very moment, the three men Cornelius sent to find Peter arrived. And the next day, Peter went with them to Cornelius' house. You're here. Oh, stand up. I, look, I'm a human being, just like oh. everybody else. I've brought all of my family and all of my friends to hear what you have to say. Go on, say hello, everybody. Uh, hello, everyone. It's, it's nice to meet you. Um, you know it's against our law for me, a Jew, to enter the home of a Gentile or to even be close to one. But God has showed me that I shouldn't say that anyone is unclean. And that, that's why I'm here. I, I realize now that God treats everyone the same. He accepts people from every nation who have respect for him and do what's right. Peter told them all about Jesus, and he told them how anyone who believes in Jesus, Jew or Gentile, will be saved. While Peter was speaking, the Holy Spirit came on everyone in the house who heard the message. Yeah. Hallelujah! This is the best day of my life. I forgot to change my costume. Oh, man. Well, surely no one can keep these people from being baptized. This is the best day of my life. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I did it! Thank you! Thank you! Not sure baptism worked like that back then, but everyone who believed in Jesus was baptized that day. After staying with Cornelius for a few days, Peter left to spread the word that faith in Jesus wasn't just for people like him, but for everyone. The end. That's a great story, Kellen. Yeah, and well done, so-and-so show players. That was so cool, but, but I'm wondering, uh, would we have ever heard about Jesus if Peter hadn't had that weird vision? That's a really good question. Before that vision, Peter thought Jesus was only for people who were the same as him. Yeah, but now we know Jesus came for everyone, even different people like us. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we are way different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Doesn't matter where you were born or the color of your skin or how different you are. We can put our faith in the same savior. Mm -hmm. That's super cool. Thank you, Kellen. Thank you guys. I'll see you next time. Hey, bye Kellen. Man, I really love that. No kidding. The so-and-so show players are the best. Mm -hmm. Reveal the question. Oh, hey, what are some ways people are different from each other? Yeah, it could be the way people look. Like hair color or nostril shape. Mine are crooked. Oh.
How about that? Yeah. Or it could be other things too, like uh, what subject in school people are good at, or how many brothers and sisters people have. Yeah, the possibilities are pretty much endless. Yeah, so you guys talk it out. What are some ways people are different from each other? And we will see you next time. Yes, I am John. And I'm Brandon. And this was the So and So Show. <laughs> are we different from each other? I, yeah, we're very different. You think so? How? Yeah. I love Jesus. He's so cool. Out the do of the Bible. It's so cool. I get to tell it after school. Psych at church. It's so cool. Can I finish a minute? Let me dance. <laughs> <laughs> My guess is that you have found yourself in a situation where you have felt different than others, maybe even at church. And sometimes those differences can drive us apart. But the beautiful thing is, no matter who you are or no matter where you come from, we are all welcomed in and through Jesus. He is what we have in common with one another, and He is enough. I want us to take a look at our key question for today. What are some ways that people are different from each other? It is okay for be people to have differences. God has made us each unique and special. I want you to think about this. How are we all unique? And how can sometimes our differences can drive us apart? But I also want you to think about this. How can knowing Jesus help us overcome those differences? And how can we all work together to overcome the differences that we have and use the love of Jesus to help us all still become friends? As we end today, I would love for us to pray and thank God for Jesus. Because of Jesus, we are able to be a part of God's family. Now, some of you may be asking, I don't know what it means to be a, a part of God's family. And that is totally okay. Here at Emmanuel and at 56, it is always okay to have questions. What I'm here to tell you is that God gave us the greatest gift of all time by sending Jesus to this earth. When Jesus was here on earth, he lived a perfect life and he died on the cross to pay for our sins and rose again three days later. Because of that, we are able to have a relationship with him. We can learn more about him in God's word and we can pray to God with anything that we have on our hearts and minds. If you have questions or wanna take steps in your faith, I encourage you to talk to someone in your family who has a relationship with God. And please always feel welcome to ask one of us questions. Please feel free to reach out and we would love to talk to you about your faith. Hey guys, would you like to pray with us today? Father God, thank you so much for sending Jesus for our sins. And thank you so much for making us all unique we love all the differences that we have, and I just pray that we accept people for how they are. We love you, and it's in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hey, guys, we still have plenty of summer left, and the good news is we'll be back here next week for a brand new story. So make sure you invite a friend to watch with you. See you soon. Bye. Bye.